Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? So now we're heading over to the... Oh, good morning. It's already 1 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. <laughs> oh, sure. 1 p.m.? <laughs> yeah. It's... Yeah, 1 p.m. So okay. now we're heading over to the mall. We're going to do a couple things. We're going to upload some videos because our Wi-Fi at home just doesn't seem to want to work. That's the, one of the first things. The second things we're going to do is pick up our Cinemars because we can't have, get married without our Cinemars. How far up, hon? You can go to Gentleman, I'll be the one to get the Cinemars. Do I need to be there? Huh? I'll go with you. Oh, okay. We come to get our Cinemars. Oh, yeah, long line. Okay, so now we're going downstairs to the gentleman's for something cold to drink and upload some videos. Gentlemen. Sure, that'll work. There's cool little places that you can hang out and do your work. What do you want for her? Something cold and chocolate if they got it. Give me money. Give me money. So why didn't we get our cinema? So that we can practice our marriage. No honey, why did we not get it upstairs? Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's because... It's because... A uh, long line. We need to follow the line before we can get and our cinema. Yeah, and no chairs available. We cannot see it. We need so, to sit. Yeah, I'm tired of standing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Okay, whoa, look at this. So this is mine. Remember Yummy. that that is a... It's not a coffee. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Dark yeah. chocolate. And you got, a, what, a lime? No, kiwi. Yeah, Oh, you got kiwi. And I got... An, I kind of have big. These things are big. I mean, these are a nice, a nice size. And uh, of course, she had to take a photograph for her Facebook. Could you like your Facebook? Hmm, uh, it's thank cold you. One. I did not eat rice. I will buy chow fan. You want to eat chow fan? I don't even know what that is. Uh, rice with something pork. Sure. You want to eat? It sure. is one. So she went and got some food for us um, while we're trying to 
connect. As you can see, we are not connected yet. It is trying to net. No internet secure here. It's in. And we got uh, Chow, Chow King. And I guess those are drinks. Yeah, with drinks. This right. only 100. And how much it cost us for our lunch? 152. 152 for this, pesos. For these two and two. And so for 152 pesos, about two bucks, three dollars. So lunch for about three bucks. That's a good price. I like that. Yeah. I don't like the fact that I can't get on the internet. So we need to... Good afternoon, honey. Good afternoon. So we got our cinemars. Yeah. That's good. So now we just have to get the release of the barangay captain and what else? Um, cedula. Say it slowly. Cedula. Cedula? Yeah. And that is to show that you pay taxes. Yeah. So we didn't eat so we decided to stop here and get something to eat at a place called Insala. I-N-S-A-L. I'm not sure. We stop here. Because I'm hungry. You're hungry, and we did not eat breakfast or lunch. Yeah, we didn't eat. Oh yeah, we had we had French toast this French morning. Toast. Yeah, the early this morning. So we decided to stop here and get grilled chicken and, of course, rice and pop and all of this. Well, I don't know if you can see; it's a very bad. 200 and how much? 218 pesos. It says 200. It says 210. See, it said it looks like it says 210, but that's actually an eight. Again. So this time we're going to do a May. Is it May? Yeah, May expenses. May expenses for our apartment. Now, as everybody knows, if you don't know, we have an apartment in Mendawi City, which is a two bedroom uh, apartment. Um, if you look at some of the videos, uh, one of our other videos for our monthly bills, you'll see that we take a tour of the, vi of the apartment. So let's get right into it. For our rent, we pay here eight thousand five hundred pesos. Uh, into dollar, one hundred seventy-one point sixty-three dollar. One hundred and seventy-one dollars and sixty-three cents in USD. That ain't bad at all for a two-bedroom apartment with a security gate. It's a one way in, one way out. Um, very safe here. We love it here. Um, I kind of want to look for another place that. The same amount of price but maybe a single level because I have back issues and climbing the stairs is kind of <laughs> rough on me she thinks I'm just lazy anyway so the rent is 171.63 or 8,500 pesos now we're going to move on to the electricity now our electricity we usually run a television we run our air con at night or air conditioning uh, we turn it off in the daytime we run it only at night when we sleep because I have to have cool air. I can't, I can't sleep when when it's hot. I can't do it. I have a fan and aircon on, and we use a ceiling fan and we use a big fan behind us. I don't know if you can see that or not. And our computers. Oven. And our ovens. Yes, our we have an oven. Uh, electric iron. Electric iron. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> so we have a lot more things now than we did when we first moved here, but. Our monthly electric bill for May, now this is June, but this was last month, we're just now getting around to it. Our electric bill for last month was? 2,913 pesos in USD is 58.82. Now, I, I have never had an electric bill in the States that was under $100, so mm -hmm. I, it's still high here. 2,900 pesos is still high, but it's still not bad if you think of it in USD. So that's our electric. 
Now we have water next. Now there's two kinds of water here. You have your bathing water, you're doing your laundry, your dishes, and do I leave anything else? Showering, because Shower. that's very important to shower. So we have that, and then you have your drinking water. So what we're gonna do first is our drinking water. Our drinking water is... Um, How many pesos each? 25 pesos each for each jug, yeah. which is the big blue jugs. One. And we have four of those, so... For one month. For one month is 100, 100 pesos. pesos. Or? 2.02 dollar. Two dollars and two cents. That's for drinking water, that's not bad. So now we go to the other water, which is shower and everything else. How much was that one? 525 pesos. I wrote that down wrong. Yeah, <laughs> and then in two dollar, ten point sixty dollar. Yeah, so ten dollars and sixty cents. This is include for the security guard payment. Yeah, that's right. There's also a security. They also give you, uh, they, they charge Homeowner you. Homeowner Association. Homeowner Association, which covers your uh, security guard and the gate and all that. Yeah. So that's that's not bad for security plus your your, uh, your water. So next we're going to move to Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi here in, the, in this country, everyone knows the Wi-Fi here sucks. And it's supposed to be getting better because uh, from my understanding, reading the news, Japan is going to be, is it Japan or China moving in with, with their internet? Uh, Japan. Japan's moving in with the uh, internet, so hopefully it'll get better. But as of right now, our Wi-Fi here uh, runs. 1,499 pesos into $30.27. Yeah, $0.27. Cents. Okay, now that covers our, our main essentials, our, our rent, electric, water, our water, our Wi-Fi. And then we have food. Well, we have extras here. Now, the extras, I'm gonna, the, the, I count extras as soap, dish soap, uh, shampoo, toothpaste, things like that. And we just kind of gave a rough estimate about that. And that our extras cost us what? 3,000 pesos, dollar, 60.58 cents. Okay, that's right, sense. You're right. Okay, now our food went up because we haven't been eating out that much in May. This month we have a couple times. Um, so our food, which we buy everything, it's like in the States, we buy fresh vegetables. We, we've been going to the wet markets, which are outdoor, like farmer's yeah. markets in America. And we buy our vegetables, potatoes, chicken, chicken fish, pork, pork, fish. Pork. All that stuff we can get at the fresh mar at the wet market, which is a lot fresher. Yeah. So for our food in May, we spent ten thousand pesos, a dollar two hundred one dollar point cent ninety two cent. That's right, correct. All right, and that's kind of, that that's not too bad either. I mean, you can't go to the store there, you know, every other week if you go grocery shopping. It's going to run you two, three, four hundred dollars every two weeks. So this this wasn't bad. Now I do have. We are going to cover something different. We would love to say that was our expenses, but to be honest, we had a lot more expenses in May. Yeah. More than we wanted. We had our cinemas because we are getting married. Yeah. So we got our cinemas. We had to pay for an ACR, ACR card. Now that ACR card is an alien registration card. I mean, anyone here is that uh, is a foreigner that has to be here, that is going to be here for more than 59 days. You don't have a choice. You have you to have get to it. Get. And if you don't, they will deport you. So we had to get to that. We had to pay for the extension. Extension. For, yeah. And then we also had. Physical. We, yeah, we went. We have a physical, a drug screen. Those two things are part of the LTO because we are trying to get uh, my license here in, in this country, so we can drive our little blue bomb we have outside, which, by the way, is working great now. Okay, so, oh yeah, and we had a TV. TV. <laughs> As you know, our last video, our TV decided to quit on us. So, with all those uh, extras, on top of the extras, those all alone cost how much? 32,000 pesos. Now, I didn't write down how much 32,000 pesos is, but dollar in, dollar in dollar, that's a very easy thing to do because I have an app right here. We can say 32,000 32, 
comes up to six hundred and forty six dollars twenty seven cent dollar yeah point two seven so that's a, a lot of extra extras and uh, that was our biggest thing this our last month so, so with a grand total overall total overall total in May we spent fifty eight thousand five hundred thirty seven pesos or or in dollar one hundred one thousand one hundred eighty one point ninety eight dollar that's a lot of money here for us and uh, it it doubled because we had so many extra that we yes. had to do but we are happy we are healthy we uh, we enjoy going to the beach yeah. and the thing is when you see us go to these resorts and these beaches and, and people say oh it must be nice to you know be able to afford something like that it's very inexpensive to go to the beach here. It literally only like two there's bucks to get entrance. into it. Yeah, there's an entrance fee usually. Um, around. you need to pay for the cottage. Yeah, which is pretty. I mean, getting in is like two hundred pesos. Yeah. So which is like uh, two hundred pesos is like four dollars to get into a because resort. Because we're going to a cheap, just like that. Yeah, it's but a, we were going to very expensive. Um, beach. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> yeah. What the, uh, a couple months ago, we went to a nice beach and had a, uh, we spent the night there because it was so far from home up in Medellin, and that right there cost us how much did it cost us overnight? For the room, only one thousand six hundred seventy-two. One thousand six. Yeah. So roughly about thirty U.S. dollars for an overnight stay in an air-conditioned room, uh, queen-size bed, and again. If you look at it as USD, it's not that bad. But when you're here, you have to remember you're living off of the peso, not the dollar. So 1,600 pesos is, is a lot of money here. Yeah. And because uh, 1,600 pesos can buy a lot of food. Yes. So I've learned, I'm learning the hard way and, we're, and she's, she's working on with me about, about saving. But uh, so that is our monthly uh, bill. We will try to do one of these the first week of every month. That way you guys can get an idea of how much we spend, if, you know, if it goes up or down. Now, in the, in the future, I don't know how far in the future, but um, we record videos on a uh, GoPro Silver, Go, uh, Hero 4, which is an excellent camera. I love the camera. It's good, but it's been having some issues here lately. I may, at the beginning of next year, may upgrade and just get me, because this camera... I have two cameras. I have a Kodiak, which I use underwater, which you guys seen that one. Then I have my GoPro, and I use that one outside the pool. Um, but I'm thinking of, of trying to get just a vlogging camera only. So if anyone out there does vlogging, and you know who you are, please leave me a message down below and tell me what a good vlogging camera is that I can get that's not going to you know have to sell my, my uh, soul to get it. But with that, that is our, that's it. We are done with our monthly. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them in the, uh, uh, down below because we do answer all of them if we can. And I'm Kelly. I'm Anne. We'll see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.